Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and the One X Player handheld gaming PC from One Netbook. And as you can see, it ships with Windows 10 software pre-installed. But I want to show you that it is fairly easy to get it to boot from something different. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the computer. And I'm going to press and hold the volume up key and this uh, desktop or escape key down here in the bottom. And what that'll let me do is, when I see the splash screen, get into the boot settings menu. And you can see I've got a couple of things plugged in here. I'll show you what those are momentarily. There we go. So now we have access to the boot settings menu. From here, I can use the D-pad and the uh, start key for select and navigation. So I want to boot from this USB flash drive. What I've got plugged in here is a keyboard and I've just got the power plugged in. So in those ports up top there, we've got two USB type C ports and a USB type A port. Um, now from here, I could go into the setup menu and access the UEFI settings, but in this case, we're just gonna boot from a flash drive. And what I've got installed on this flash drive is Ubuntu, so I'm gonna hit select. You'll notice the Grub bootloader menu was sideways, and that's because, uh, as with a lot of other handheld devices from one netbook, uh, this seems to have a screen that was designed for tablets, not necessarily for uh, whatever you want to call this, handheld gaming computers or laptop style landscape orientation. So most of the things when you're running Windows do run in landscape orientation just fine, um, but this sort of loading menu is going to run in portrait by default, and you'll see when we get Ubuntu up and running, it's also going to be in portrait by default. Um, we don't need to go through all of this. So I'm just going to use my USB keyboard here. This is just a dongle for a keyboard. and Ubuntu is sideways, unsurprisingly. So I'm um, just using the touchpad here to navigate. I say try Ubuntu. Down, there we go. And now I'm gonna open the display settings easier to think about this way. There we go. Now the touchpad works a little bit better. And I'm going to say, I think portrait left is what I want. Nope, I guess I want a portrait right. So let's say revert settings. Portrait right. Apply and keep changes. Let's connect to a wireless network. And so the touchscreen is not working, but that's actually not surprising because the touchscreen stopped working on this demo unit in Windows as well, so I think there was just a hardware issue. This is a pre-release prototype that was sent to me, but you'll notice mouse mode works just fine, and that's mapped to this hardware button, which doesn't just work in Windows, but also works in Ubuntu. So that's actually kind of nice that I can navigate this way. Uh, now tapping it once doesn't bring up the on-screen keyboard. That seems to be something that is tied specifically to Windows. Um, I can, however, use some of these multifunction keys. So I can press the uh, desktop and uh, that button to get to the logout menu. Doesn't seem to do a screenshot, but so some of these function keys are functional, which is nice. I can also get audio and video to work just fine. Wireless is working fine. So for the most part, things seem to work as expected. And then if you plug in an external keyboard,
you've basically got yourself a little Linux computer. I do wish that I could uh, test it with the touchscreen, but again, prototype, these things happen. Um, overall, in Windows, I find that you know mouse mode works so well that I don't really miss not having a touchscreen, particularly when using this for gaming. It's a little bit trickier without access to the on-screen keyboard shortcut here. But you know, audio and video, everything basically works the way it's supposed to. So that's just a quick look at Ubuntu. It's just sort of the out-of-the-box experience. I haven't installed it. It's just running from a flash drive there. But it, uh, for the most part, seems to work okay. And um, I wanted to let you know that. So you can find more information about using this uh, little computer for gaming, which is its intended purpose, uh, as well as some other general purpose things, at lilliputing.com. It's the One X Player handheld gaming PC with an Intel Tiger Lake processor from one netbook. Um, and this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.